Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today I'm going to make a super collagen <laughs> braised pork leg. Yeah, why is it super super collagen? Because besides the very nice um, pork skin, which is having a lot of collagen, I'm going to put in. I think I'm probably going to put in about half of this sea cucumber. This is a very huge sea cucumber here, easily three, four hundred, maybe even more um, uh, gram. Yeah, so I'll probably just put in about half of it later. So uh, let's see what do we have here. I have approximately uh, this is about eight hundred, eight nine hundred um, grams of pork leg here. I actually add a little bit of uh, pork belly. Uh, and then you need to blanch yeah? These two items, you actually need to blanch it Do not skip blanching process Because blanching process in this particular dish is very very important It is going to help to remove the gaminess of that particular ingredient um, This will help to remove some fishiness uh, This one, it will help to remove the meat gaminess So later, I will show you a very very quickly how you can remove uh, do the blanching process very easy. Um, then after that, let's look at some of the ingredients for the braise. This is the usual ones. We have some uh, one tablespoon of chopped shallot, one tablespoon of chopped garlic, one tablespoon of chopped coriander roots. Some people ask me how does coriander roots looks like. Uh, I'll show you later. Uh, this is one ta one tablespoon of chopped ginger. So this is uh, fresh coriander. And this part here is the roots, yeah, the bottom part, very, very fragrant. Do not throw it away, yeah. Okay, so this is what this is how a, a fresh coriander looks like. And uh, what else to give to give the braise more flavor? I'm going to put in two star anise, one cinnamon stick, uh, this is bay leaf, and about one teaspoon of five spice powder. Give it more body. I'll put in about one tablespoon of fried garlic. Oh, sorry, this is fried uh, onion, shallot. Yeah, fried shallot. Sorry, and one tablespoon of rock sugar. You can use uh, normal sugar also. Can no problem. And of course, uh, for the braise, you will need some light soya sauce, dark soya sauce, and also Shaoxing wine. Yeah. So quickly blanch the sea cucumber for a couple of 10, 20 seconds will do. So after you blanch the sea cucumber, you can actually add in a little bit of uh, Chinese rice wine and also a piece of, few pieces of ginger. Uh, then put in your pork leg and uh, bring it to a boil and let it boil for about a minute or two. Then you will start seeing these uh, scums releasing out from uh, the pork leg. And uh, what you need to do right now is very easy, just to take it out and wash your pork leg. Then the blanching process is done. Okay, so you want to prepare one pot or wok, up to you. Give it a bit of oil. And we're going to start with sauteing the um, fresh ingredient. Let me... So I have the shallot, ginger, coriander, roots and also garlic. Immediately you can smell very very fragrant. If you are using cast iron pot like Appa, then uh, try not to use too high heat. Many people like to ask me what size I'm using. This one I'm using here, I think it's 24 cm. Hopefully it can fit, yeah? Another one is about 26, I think. That one's a bit too, too big. Okay, now you can really smell the nice fragrance. We can actually uh, put in some hot water. A 
I'm getting some hot water from the water dispenser right now. I should have prepared some hot water at the side. I forgot. The, the day where I'm recording this particular video is actually my birthday, by the way. <laughs> and Appa is still a little bit sick, but still, I'm going to prepare the dinner for my family, yeah? So we definitely want uh, the water just enough to cover your ingredient, the pork and also uh, the sea cucumber later. I'm going to put in the pork first, not the sea cucumber, because sea cucumber, some can't really uh, cook for too long. Yeah? Some will actually melt within 10 minutes, some 5 minutes. The one I'm using today, I hope it can tahan at least uh, half an hour to 45 minutes. But I'm going to cook the pork leg for at least uh, I would say one and a half minute to really get um, to really get the, uh, the the tenderness that I wanted. Okay. The dry spines. The. Uh, this is the rock sugar. This is fried shallot. And I'm going to add in, uh, let me see where is my Saoxing wine. I'll give it a generous amount of Saoxing wine here. And light soy sauce. I leave about 3-4 tablespoons Okay And then dark soya sauce for the color About 3-4 tablespoons as well Dark soya sauce, if you put too much Your whole, whole dish will become bitter, yeah? So don't put too much And one thing you can add to create the umami flavor of this particular dish is actually fish sauce and this is my favorite vietnamese fish sauce by the way all the ingredients and the equipments that i use i'll be putting inside the description box yeah just just read the description box then you're going to find the purchase link for those who are interested for those who are not interested don't worry okay we still need to leave some space for my uh, sea cucumber later So by the look of it, I don't mind giving it a little bit more uh, liquid, yeah? More water So what we do next is to... Uh, we, it is already boiling, okay? So I'm going to close this with a lid And tune down to medium low uh, Let it cool for at least the first 45 minutes then I will add in the sea cucumber to let it cook for another half an hour or so then it is basically done very simple but like I mentioned some sea cucumber can only last about 5 minutes inside the broth so you need to know your ingredient the one I'm using is very very thick I can show you this is super thick yeah? this is super thick this is only half of it I hope it can last lah, huh? but later I will keep on checking yeah Okay, this after about 45 minutes, simmering under low medium heat. Super, super fragrant right now. Uh, now I'm going to add in the sea cucumber. Actually, the pork is ready, but I want it to be more tender. Pork leg, usually, you need to cook between one hour to one and a half hour to get the, the right tenderness you wanted, yeah? You have to decide yourself. So, I have my sea cucumber with me. I'm going to put it in. Like I mentioned, um, you really need to know your sea cucumber whether or not it can tahan cook for how long, yeah? Some will melt in 5 minutes, but this one, I think anything between 15 to 15 to 30 minutes should be fine. And then, uh, I, I forgot about this, I have some leeks, yeah? Actually put in some uh, leeks, Chinese leeks here, will definitely enhance the flavor of this particular broth. It will bring you to another level, seriously.
て。You can actually do a bit of seasoning right now to get the right saltiness here. Yeah? Let me have a taste. Yep. Um, I can give it some salt. Okay, about one teaspoon of salt. And one more round of light soy sauce. Perhaps a little bit more saucing wine as well. Okay. So I'm going to bring it to a boil again and then um, tune down to lower medium, uh, low medium heat. Okay, it's almost boiling. Low medium heat and let it uh, simmer for another 15 to 30 minutes. Then it's basically done. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure this particular sea cucumber can it actually uh, will it melt or not so I'm going to leave the lid open if you are sure that the one that you're using can last a long time then you can uh, close the lid no problem yeah okay this after another 15 minutes 15 20 minutes actually I can actually tell the um, the sea cucumber has changed color that is actually a sign telling you um, the flavor has, has, has already gone into the sea cucumber. I think it's good enough. Yep. Okay, it's basically done. If you want extra flavor, you can put some fried garlic inside also. It will actually enhance the flavor. So I'm going to dish it out. Okay, it's done. You can see how it actually jiggly. Eh? Ooh, look at this. Um, total cooking time for the pork Leg is about uh, close to one and a half hour. This one is about 15 minutes. Um, actually, the pork, no, the pork is not, not yet one and a half hour, probably one hour and 15 minutes. Okay, so and then look at how jiggly is the sea cucumber. Okay, all this is going to taste so good. I'm going to garnish it with a little bit of uh, fresh coriander on top, my favorite. Okay, done. So, if you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.